Hey everybody, we are week three of the Keto Craze update. Um, and I'm gonna just briefly let my husband talk a little bit about oil pulling. It is just not happening for me. Um, but I do, and I, I think I said in one of the other videos, I absolutely do love the charcoal and coconut um, teeth cleaning process. I love it. It's so soothing, helps my gums, it does wipe my teeth. And it's, it's very, very great for people who have sensitive teeth. I can't do the teeth whitening things that they have out there that are high in the peroxide and stuff. Um, I just, you know, from TMJ and grinding my teeth, my teeth are too sensitive. So that's a great option for me, but the oil pulling is just not going to happen. What do you, what's your take on the oil pulling, honey? Well, I've been doing it maybe like two or three days a week, and I, um, I'll keep it in my mouth for like up to 20 minutes. Yeah. And, um, I mean, I notice my mouth feeling cleaner and maybe my teeth a little bit wider, but um, I don't notice really any other yeah. health benefits other than that. But, but do you like it enough to keep doing it? Um, I don't, yeah, I mean, it, I don't see it. Uh, it's not hard for me the way it is yeah. for you. And, um, yeah, I'm going to keep doing it. Okay. Um, yeah. As far as the keto thing, I am so bored. <laughs> I am so bored. It's too restrictive. The food is just is boring. And I think part of eating healthy is having variety and making sure that you're mixing it up. And, um, you know, the half a pound that I lost the week before, I gained because I started just adding a little bit in and that it'll just make me crazy. So I'm um, going to finish out the last week of it. But I'm definitely going to go back to what works for me. Again, this is just reinforcing the fact for me that, yes, we do absolutely need to cut sugar out. Yes, we do need to make better choices as far as the complex carbohydrates and quantities. Um, but again, I think it should just be utilized as a tool, one of many tools that we need to have to keep our health and our well wellness under, you know, you know, manageable for us. But I am really bored with it. It's just, I, I have not felt good on it at all. I have lost a lot of energy on it. Um, and what I was doing before was definitely working for me. So what you what do you take? I, you probably don't share the same opinion that I I'm did. Probably just the opposite. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I don't want to say that I'm uh, bored with it, but because it's so restrictive, it is hard sometimes to find foods that meet the proper criteria, especially when I'm out on Travel. the road, traveling, you get hungry, um, you know, there's just, there's, there's not a whole lot to choose from, so that, that's a challenging part of it, but as far as the food that is permitted, it's food that I like. It's yeah, me food. too. So, I mean, it's good, it's good yeah. healthy food, it tastes good, you're not hungry, um, but you just get bored with eating a lot of the same things. It does require a lot of planning and prepping in advance, which, I, you know, I'm an advocate for that anyway. I think when I work with clients, um, I always tell them if you don't plan what you're going to eat, you'll end up eating what you don't want to. You know, what's that saying? Failure to plan is planning to fail type of thing. So I think prep and planning goes along with anything with health and wellness. Um, but it is a little bit more extensive when you travel and you're on the road, you know, and that sort of thing. So uh, one more week of, of the keto updates and then you guys will be done with hearing from us for a little while. We'll be on to the next thing. I know I had a few people asking about the tour um, to Mitt Abbott's Lavender Farm mm -hmm. and that is coming up. Um, they have been doing some remodeling at the facility there and she doesn't want me to come and do the video tour of it until they're done. So it's probably going to be a few more weeks before, you know, they get that project finished and then I will go on site and have a video tour of the lavender farm for you. So stay tuned guys. Thanks.